This video is intended to supplement, not to replace, the installation and safe use manual provided with your goals. If a forklift is available, remove the entire pallet from the end marked forklift here. If a forklift is not available, remove all pallet protective packaging materials and manually unload and relocate to a flat location for assembly. Open all boxes, being careful not to damage the powder coating. Lay out and inspect all components for damage or missing parts using the parts list in the manual for guidance. Report any damage or missing parts. Read all instructions carefully before proceeding with assembly. Following the instructions in the manual, connect the two-piece crossbar sections using the parts and hardware provided. Assemble the corners using the short inner extrusions, connector bars, and 3 8 by 1 inch bolts. Follow the manual to attach the corner assemblies to each end of the crossbar assemblies. Attach the uprights to the crossbar corner assemblies using the same components and hardware used on the previous steps. Tighten all 3 8 by 1 inch hex bolts, making sure that all outer goal extrusions are positioned with a minimal gap at the connection points. Lay the galvanized two-piece tubular backstay components end-to-end -end on a flat surface as shown and as illustrated in the manual. Use cardboard or drop cloth to capture any metal chips. Slide a pre-drilled connection tube over one end of the backstay parts where they meet until you see the end of the backstay tube in the pre-drilled center hole. Using a drill and the 3 8 inch socket provided, Install one self-drilling screw into each backstay section. Make sure the sections are touching in the middle and both sections are laying flat. Proceed to install a total of eight screws in two rows, 90 degrees apart. Lay the entire white crossbar and upright assembly on a flat surface with the net attachment grooves facing upward. Insert the galvanized backstay assemblies into the receiver tubes welded to the top of the crossbar upright assembly. Attach with the 5 16 inch hardware provided. Tighten the hardware. Tip the entire assembly into an upright position. This requires two persons. Assemble the two-section galvanized tubular rear spreader bar using the same connection tubes and hardware used to assemble the two-part galvanized backstays. Use a total of eight screws per connection in two rows 90 degrees apart. If you purchased Goals with Bison's exclusive no-tip feature, fill the drums completely with sand following the instruction manual. If you did not purchase the Bison no-tip Goals, disregard the no-tip instructions. On Goals with Bison's exclusive no-tip feature, Slide the no-tip retention bar, large washers, and no-tip ballast drums onto each end of the rear spreader bar assembly as illustrated in the manual. Using the 5 16 inch U-bolts and hardware, loosely attach the T-connectors to the backstay assemblies near the playing surface. Attach the rear stabilizer bar assembly with or without the no-tip components to each T-connector using a drill and self-threading screws. Use two screws per T-connector 90 degrees apart. If you are assembling no-tip goals, position the center of the ballast drums approximately 48 inches from each backstay assembly. Slide the loose T-connectors up and down the backstay assemblies until the ballast drums are resting on the flat surface. Then tighten the 5 16 inch U-bolt hardware. With the center of the two ballast drums equally distanced approximately 48 inches from the backstay, Rotate the net retention bar to approximately the same angle as the angled portion of the backstay assembly. Attach the net retention bar to the rear spreader bar assembly with two self-drilling screws 90 degrees apart at each location. Using two persons, raise the front of the goal approximately 3 to 4 feet to ensure that the ballast drums will roll freely for transport. If the backstays drag, Adjust the height of the T-connectors to lower on the backstay assembly. Once all hardware is tightened, install the net. On the no-tip goals, use the white cable ties to attach the back of the net to the net retention bar to eliminate entanglement. You are now ready to position the goals for play.